I mean, it's fine. The candy, I don't love candy. Now I know I am single. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of I Never Liked You with Mateo Lane and Nick Smith. And today we're talking about Halloween. Ooh. We should have our faces painted. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. What's your favorite Halloween movie? That's hard. Pro probably Hocus Pocus, Halloween Town. I know. Or... Because I don't, Nightmare Before Christmas isn't really Halloween y. It's that weird space it between does, Christmas yeah. and Halloween. And I like, um, I think that's pretty much, I can't think of it like, how, what's Halloween movies? My, right. I mean, my favorites are Hocus Pocus and Halloween Town, but I can't choose which one. I guess at the end. Because I of love the... them for different reasons. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Um, Both classics. Both have icons. In My that. friend Frank is calling about space. Well, we've already done that episode. We're gonna add this to it. Hold on. Oh my god, did it work this time? Oh, <laughs> sorry, Frank. I'm put. I'm putting you on the spot. You're on my podcast. Um, okay, Nick and I are arguing over things that NASA invented, and I swear to God, you said at SAIC, so we're talking like 2007, I remember okay. you telling me in our storyboarding class that NASA invented air conditioning. Oh, I wonder <laughs> if they did. I, well, we looked online and then it said that they invented like air circulation stuff, but I was like, my friend Frank knows oh. everything about space, and I swear he said that fact to me. Maybe. So I. I don't remember, but I might have said that. For some reason, the first thing that came to mind, I think they invented Velcro. Oh, th didn't you I say Velcro, Chris? He did not. Frank, at what point did you start lying in life? <laughs> <laughs> um, when I developed synesthesia. Oh, so wait, Frank is the You're other... the one with yes, synesthesia? Frank is the one with synesthesia. Hang up the phone. And Nick didn't, Frank, Nick, did, okay, real quick, and then we have to get off the phone, Frank, but let's just do this real quick. Okay, we're going to go through our colors one through nine, okay? My oh color my one is like white. Yeah, mine is actually pretty white too. Okay, two is red. Racist. No, two is yellow. Okay, three is green. Three is pink. Four is yellow. No, four is blue. Five is like a dark, 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 dark blue. Oh, my five is green. Oh, my six is a dark orange. My six is a dark red. Seven is almost, it's purple, but it's almost black. But in a way it's like purple. Oh. That's so different. Mine is like a dark orange. Okay, my eight is genuinely dark blue, like a deep blue. Oh, that's the same for me. Oh, nice. We, we matched. Okay, and my nine is orange. My nine is bright red. All right. There we, Nick is, looks furious right now. My one is yeah. Velcro. Oh, my shut two up, Nick. Is All right, Frank, I got to go. I'm sorry. I'll call you later. Bye, Frank. <laughs> Bye. Okay, back to, back to the episode. I'm sorry. We just had to get that out of the way. So Halloween. Halloween, dressing up as a kid, would your mother make outfits, buy outfits? Would you dress up? First of all, make outfits. We did not have money to buy outfits. That would never <laughs> bless you, my God. Or did you wear like secondhand costumes from your cousins? Your no, well, but stuff? my cousins, first, so first of all, for Halloween, I have pictures. Every year, as you can imagine, my cousins and I went trick-or-treating together. And um, I was a ghost a lot of the times because I liked the idea of a dress. And I remember once my mom bought me from like, like Walgreens, there was like a flashlight with like a pumpkin on it. Mm, yeah, and yeah. I remember like that to me was like a magic wand. But my mom, my mom made my Ninja Turtles outfit when I was in preschool. My cousin Kelly and I went to preschool together, and she was a witch. She wore green makeup, but my mom sewed the like the shell and gave me a green face, and like the I was Raphael, and then I was a ghost forever. I mean, I was a ghost like a bunch of years. Anything with a sort of like capy drapey thing. My brother once was a, a rabbit, and my sister was a ghost buster. She was sent to kill you. She was sent to kill. <laughs> what were you besides Christmas? Um. I was a Christmas tree. The one year my mom was like making costumes, I was a Christmas tree. My brother was fire. She never made costumes after that. Um, I know I was put in a lot of like hand-me-down costumes. That We had this like dice my aunt made my cousin at one point, and we all were that dice at one point in our lives. I was the yellow ranger because... Yeah. 
Gay. I w- should I go as a Power Ranger this year? Just wear like the tight outfit and call it a day? Sure. I'm just trying to figure out. I never do Halloween. That's a problem as like as an adult. I really think our group should be the Adams family. <laughs> Who would I be? Who would Gomez. we be? I would be Lurch. I'd be Gomez? Why? Because I'm Latin? And you have the mustache. Oh, yeah. Bob would be Morticia. Sense. Monet would be Uncle Fester. I would be Lurch. Patty would be Cousin It. Kennedy would be the mom. Mitch would be on. Hi, you're on the podcast. This is Bob the Drag Queen, everybody. If if our crew was the Adams Family, who's who? Okay, well, I would, let's start off with the obvious. Nick is Lurch. <laughs> yeah. And why? Because you... You, it's, you know, it's because, honestly, you have good posture. Thank there you. There you go. That's it, Bob. So you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta spin it so these fucking age twinks will believe anything. Um... <laughs> I think that uh, Mateo, you'd be Pugsley. Which one's Pugsley? The kid? Yeah. Pugsley is the kid, yeah. I feel like Mitch would be Pugsley. Yeah. I, I mean, Mitch is a good Pugsley. You're right. Mitch is a great Pugsley. I'd be Gomez Actually, is what Nick Gomez. says. Yeah. You're, you're Gomez. I'm Morticia. Yes. Monet is Wednesday. See, I yeah. thought Monet would be Uncle Fester. Patty is, Patty's uh, cousin He's it. bald. Yeah, Patty is cousin it. Monet and... would be Uncle Fester. She's bald. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm bald too, but I'm not giving Uncle Fester though. Then who's more, then who's Wednesday? Yeah, Monet would Jacob, be Wednesday. Jacob is, Jacob is Wednesday. Yeah, Jacob Monet, Wednesday. Monet could be Fester. And who's the hand? Um, who is the hand? Um, I don't know. Maybe that's um. <laughs> <laughs> I was that's about to say. Hand. Oh my god, okay. This is getting out of control. All right. I... <laughs> She's not in our crew at all. Okay, thank you, Bob. Okay, bye. bye. Hey guys, so some things in life, it's fine if they don't work out, like trying a new restaurant for food or buying something offline, but finding a doctor shouldn't be that much of a risk. I mean, being an adult rocks because you can eat breakfast for dinner, ice cream for dinner. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with dinner, but you can basically do whatever you want within reason. But there are some negatives to being an adult. Like we have to do our taxes, gross. We have to figure out what's for dinner every night, which you all know I can't do. And ultimately we have to find doctors and make doctor's appointments because mom and dad aren't doing it for us anymore. But for that one, there's ZocDoc. I gotta be honest, I use ZocDoc all the time. When I switched insurances and I needed a new primary care doctor, I use ZocDoc. When I got one of my numerous surgeries, I use ZocDoc for that as well. You can find regular doctors, specialists, see who takes your insurance. It's very user-friendly. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare high quality in-network doctors, choose the right one for your needs, and instantly book an appointment with them. We're talking about in-network appointments with more than a hundred thousand healthcare providers across every specialty from mental health to dental health eye care to skin care and much more plus zocdoc appointments happen fast and typically within just 24 to 72 hours of booking you can even sometimes get same day appointments honestly i got a same day appointment when i used it so stop putting off those doctor's appointments and go to zocdoc.com slash I never liked you to find an instantly book with a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash I never liked you. ZocDoc.com slash I never liked you. And truly use it. I wouldn't lead you astray. Last year we went, a group of us, we went as Pokemon. Well, okay, so Rodrigo went dressed as a wrestler, which honestly I might just do this year because that is such an easy outfit. It's like, it gets straight to the point. Here's what my body. What are you doing for Halloween? Uh, I think we're gonna, me, you, and Sean, and Jamie, and like, I, I, well, you're not gonna come? I guess. I think we're gonna try and find something. I don't know. I think this but year- we're not gonna I, do a group No, but this year, I want, if, okay, here, I have questions. We should all be the Rangers. If anyone else, if anyone out there knows how to actually make a Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman costume for me, I will pay you. But I need to know it's that you actually... New York actually, City, of course there's something. Well, I already looked, one, one person I was talking to that they weren't in town, and I tried hitting up Domino, he didn't hit me back. Yet. So I'm like, I really want to make this happen. So if anyone's out there, leave in the comments if you can make it and like a website to show me your costume. why don't we do a group costume? Like we all be Power Rangers. Okay. Could I be the Yellow Ranger nowadays? Is that 
inappropriate. Well, she, why not? Why why is that inappropriate? Cuz she was Asian? Yeah. First of all, she was only Asian in the first season and she was let go. I mean, it was racist because the Black Ranger was black, the right. Asian was and um, but those three characters were let go because they were trying to negotiate their contract with the studio to say we need to get paid more than like a thousand dollars a day, and then they were like no, and so they let them go. Uh-huh. And the episode where they let them go was like this sort of sunset silhouette. They were going to like United Nations camp or something. Yeah, and then they were like, we're gonna go to Sweden. Bye. Interesting. We I just could watched go the, whole as thing the Downton Abbey cast. No, I want to be sexy. Who we could make that sexy. How am I making Downton Abbey? Se- First of all, who are we in Downton Abbey? Let's start there. Oh, I'm Maggie. I'm Smith. obviously Lady. I'm Mary. I'm Lady. Um, Edith. No, I'm the sister. <laughs> You're Edith. I'm no, I'm not Edith. I'm I'm Lady, Lady Mary. I am Lady Mary. I'm Maggie Smith. You're Edith. We could make those costumes that story sexy. Storyline where she had the kid and gave it to none the... of it. Man. It really it, it, it fell did off quick. But Maggie Smith, actually, you and I are Maggie Smith, and what's her face? So when you were growing up, though, let's go back to Halloween. Mm. When you were growing up, did you like? How did it work in Chicago? Because you're kind of like in the city. Did you go around town or did you go well, into the city? Well, we're in Arlington city? Heights, so it's like you just don't... No, in the city, what they would do... Actually, I could, you want me to call Sophia and see what they did? Who? My friend Sophia grew up in this, like, city, city, Chicago. And... Well, it's uh, probably like New York. Like, you go to the stores and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you just do it But, like, Chicago. did you go to homes? We went to homes. You probably just went to all of your family. You have 870. Yeah, we did. We just jumped from family to family. Hi, you've been Sophia Demon. Damn wow. it, Sophia. All right. Wow. She calls me back. She's at work probably right now. But, like, city kids... Oh, let's call Chuck. Because city kids, they did it differently. Like, when city kids went... I mean, she lived in an apartment. At what age did you stop dressing up? I don't know, because I think our generation was the generation that was like, wait, Halloween's fun, we want to keep doing this. Because I remember in Chicago, when I was in college, I went out for Halloween, and when you're in, like, Lakeview, it was a, when I say a sea, it was a sea of people in costume. Just from 20 to 40. Like, it just, I feel like it keeps getting more extreme the older we get. Like, everyone still loves costumes, especially gays. I gotta say something. I don't like Halloween. I've never been a huge fan of it. As you know, I scare very easily. I'm very anxious. And when I can't see people's faces, it really freaks me out, especially here in the city. Freaks me out. I don't like it. Show me your face. And it's like the costume aspect. I mean, it's fine. The candy. I don't love candy. Now I know I am single. (laughs) (laughs) That was the saddest. (laughs) I can't. We're talking about Halloween and you're just. Oh. (laughs) God. It's a wet blanket, Nick. Well, I don't like costumes. I don't like seeing people, not seeing people's faces. I don't like candy. I don't like going out. I don't like- I don't like loud music. You are literally- I don't like that, crowds. You're that maid in Mrs. Doubtfire. I don't cook. I don't clean. I don't I should do laundry. Go with, I don't- I should go Remember with her? her? Yeah. Oh, I kind of look like Jack Would you Skeleton. wear a Power Ranger costume? Because I'll do- I'll I do, wore the Pokemon costume. I'll wear it. Be- I'll be the Pink Ranger. But, oh, Jesus Christ. Um. I look like Jack Skeleton. I always said if I were to really go all out one year. Would I be the doctor in the wheelchair like, Sally? Probably. Who looks like Al Franken. But I feel like I look like Jack Skeleton. I think I could pull that off. Or Squidward. People really want us to go with Spongebob and Squidward. Oh, that would be fun. I'd be Spongebob. Could at least have my butt hanging out. Something gay. I mean, gays can make anything. That's what I'm saying. Joel Kimbooster, I swear it was Joel Kimbooster had one of the best costumes ever. He was sexy Pikachu and had like the red circles here like the Pikachu hat and then just like yellow speed over the strap. tail. Yeah. I and mean, I was like that's a very great. Cra- actually Joel's had all the best gay outfits. He was a wrestler before anyone was doing the wrestler. He was gay Pikachu, like sexy Pikachu. I should hit up Joel. You know like, that meme where it's the drawing of the horse and it's incredibly detailed and as the drawing <laughs> yeah. goes on it piddles out. Yeah. That is gay Halloween costumes. From Head the down. top it starts incredibly ornate, detailed and then just jock strap and sneakers. I agree. That was basically me last year. I was sexy Squirtle. Yes, that is My friend every Renato day. in Brazil did it, or in uh, Australia did it, and him and his boyfriend went out as like Pokemon. Every gay, detailed, 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 
Yeah. But this year I'm serious. I want to actually go as like I want to be in like a good costume and take fun pictures. I want to do. We I want to do a high fun plume. pictures last year. Yeah, but I want to be in a good costume. I'm saying. I want. But be... you're gonna make it sexy regardless. No, it's so not like... about the sexy. I want to be in a cat. Like I want to be. Someone make me the exact Catwoman fit to my body. I'll pay whatever. Okay, well, you heard it here first. So, message in the comments. Chris, we gotta look out for those in the I comments. I think I was a solar system for Halloween one year. Yeah, you showed me pictures. Was I? And you didn't pay attention to your own costume. The Christmas tree, honestly, Mom, you killed that. If I can lit up, she slayed that. I, my face was the star. I think we posted the picture in a video before. Um, I... I really don't remember most of the others. We probably went to like I don't know, Rite Aid and hey, Walcott. Hi, Matt. You're on the podcast with me and Nick. Hi. And Chris. Hi, so handsome Nick. When we were, don't say things you can't take back. Uh, she means it. When we <laughs> were kids and we were, when it was Halloween, you made all of our costumes, right? Yes. And what were some of our costumes? And then also, did we not buy because we didn't have a lot of money? No, we didn't. We didn't buy because just say it. Mom. They didn't like you. Costumes. Okay, it was really fun to sew. Yeah, well, kind of. One time I, I asked my mom, I was like, "Ma, did we not have a lot of money growing up?" And she goes, "Well, we were. Oh, let's just say we were paycheck well, to paycheck." Well, you were a ghost, and then you were a ghost, and then you were a ghost. See, I was always a ghost. <laughs> I don't think I ever was a ghost. And then what was Kate? You were a ninja turtle. Kate was a witch a couple years in a row, but then one year Kate was a um, ghost ghostbuster, buster. and Vince wanted to be a bunny rabbit. <laughs> my brother's also gay, <laughs> so my my sister just texted me. Mom is screaming into the phone. <laughs> I was always just weird stuff. Nick was Christmas was a Christmas tree one year. I was a, I was a dice. He said he was a I dice. Was a Christmas tree. Christmas tree. She can hear me. This, I'm not whispering. Like my, 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 my mom screaming the phone. Uh, it's literally just her and I screaming at the. <laughs> I was dice. I was a Christmas tree. Uh, I was a Power Ranger. I think I was a solar system at one point. Solar system. So, I so actually think like I went as a woman, objects. like in drag. My mom goes, so you like to be inanimate objects. <laughs> yeah. Which makes sense. He has no relation to real things with hearts and souls. Yeah, that makes All right, Mom, that's it. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Oh, it's so beautiful. I don't even want to eat it. <laughs> yeah, my mom is one of these Italian. Does your parent Italians do this. There's this, like, what's a girl on Instagram? She does, like, mm -hmm. Italian mother stuff. And like, she's looking at a tomato. And she's like, look at how beautiful this tomato is. Look at how beautiful. And I'm like, that is my mom. Like it dawned on me that that's my mom. We went to dinner with his mom and aunt when they were here <laughs> and they brought out the salads and both his mother and aunt go, isn't that salad? Be I don't even want to eat it. It's so beautiful. I don't even want to eat it. Eat the salad. <laughs> Does your ma do that? Not really. She didn't talk about how beautiful the food is? No. Oh, Were you ever into like... Can you guys recount our haunted house experience? We did a haunted house last year. <laughs> two, years two, ago. two years ago. Two years ago. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I've been friends with you for too long. Um, which was a nightmare. I lost my voice. You should play clips of it right now. Yeah. Um, it's honestly one of our funniest well, what, videos. Leave in the comments what you, because we have 20 seconds left, leave in the comments what Halloween activity you want to see Nick and I do this year. This will be released the week of Halloween. No, it won't. The week of Halloween? We'll release this earlier. So we, we want to know. Because also I got to get my costume made. So we want to know if you make costumes and if you want to, we're editing on the spot. And what Nick and I should do for Halloween. But keep in mind who no. I am. Meh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I should go as an alarm clock. <laughs> I love inanimate objects. <sighs> I'm going to always be single. <laughs> Thank you for watching and listening to another episode. <laughs> I should go with the parent stuff, Mom. <laughs> I should go with a Christmas tree again. Sending gifts on second. No.
Hello. Mom, you're on the podcast. If I go as a Christmas tree for Halloween this year, will you make me the costume again? No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Nick, that's the last time I made any costume. I'm never going to make one again. Mom, for your own son, your only begotten son. <laughs> My 30. Three-year-old You didn't even know how old I was. <laughs> no. What if we made it together? How will you make it? <laughs> We're ending this call right now. Goodbye. Goodbye. She wouldn't even make stuffed shells. She's not going to make you a Christmas costume. Also, you're four feet taller than you were. Than she makes you guys. I'll be a Douglas fir. <laughs> Thank you for watching and listening to another episode of our podcast. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please leave a review. Please subscribe to our Patreon. And until next time.